back to another video. I'm Miss Melina and Errol's only Melina in this video today. We're going to be reading a story called Little Miss Greedy. She looks greedy, does she? Can you find Little Miss Greedy here? I can see Little Miss Greedy. And she's right here. See her? Right there. I'm touching her. Little Miss Greedy. And now, what, let's open it up. What Little Miss Greedy certainly was? What? Greedy. I'll say as greedy as a giant. And giants are really very greedy indeed. Little Miss Greedy lived in a, in a cherry cake cottage. Look at the cherry cake cottage. Now I'll, come, I'll go on the next page. One lovely summer morning, oh, no, a Monday, Little Miss Greedy awoke earlier than usual. She felt rather hungry, and so she went into her kitchen and cooked, her, cooked herself some breakfast. Some breakfast. Cooked herself some breakfast. Some breakfast indeed. Sausages. Little Miss Greedy is going into her kitchen. Whoa. It's kind of a childish, child. It, it's a babyish story. Now, if you had sausages for breakfast, or if I had sausages for breakfast, how many sausages would we have? Or if I had sausages for breakfast, how many sausages would we have? One, perhaps two, maybe three. Guess how many sausages Little Miss Greedy had for breakfast? Oh no, I know how much she had, but I'm not going to tell you guys. 66. Go on, count them. 66 succulent, sizzling sausages. Which is difficult to say. And even more difficult to eat. Unless you're Little Miss Greedy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not going to give you enough time to count them. I tried counting them yesterday, but I couldn't. My eyes got so mixed up. Little Miss Greedy cut the last sausage on her plate in two and popped one half into her mouth. Mmm, she sighed. I can't contain to me. I don't know what that is. That was nice, she thought to herself. Now what else do I have? Guess what? It's Miss Greedy cuts a sausage and she's going to put it in her mouth. Toast! Now if you had toast for breakfast, or if I had toast for breakfast, how many slices would we have? Perhaps three, maybe three? Guess how many slices of toast Little Miss Greedy had for breakfast? Twenty-three. Twenty-three thick, tempting slices. Tempting slices of toast and marmalade. Oh my god. Guys, this is kind of easy to count, but I couldn't count. It was only 17, guys. What, pardon? I don't want to eat. Just as Little Miss Greedy was licking the last crumb of the 23rd slice of, of toast from her lips, there was a knock at the door of Cherry Cake Cottage. It was the postman. <laughs> Little Miss Greedy's opening the door and the postman has her letter. It's from her cousin, Miss, Mr. Greedy. Letter for you. Hey, don't hit me. Letter for you, Little Miss Greedy. Guys, when I said, hey, don't hit me, that was not a part of the story. My brother was hitting me. Your brother was actually her very Letter for you, Little Miss Greedy, he said cheerfully. Oh, good, smiled Little Miss Greedy, for she liked it when somebody sent her a letter. Would you like a cup of tea while you're here? She asked. I'm going to have one. One indeed. Just look at the size of this little screen. It's huge. 
That's big, isn't it? I. She had lots of cups of tea. The postman had won a cup of tea and a chat. Thanked Little Miss Green and left. Little Miss Green gave hey! herself another cup. Another after. Another after the eleven other cups he'd already had. And opened her letter. It was from her cousin, Mr. Greedy. It's the the letters for Mr. Greedy's birthday party. Ouch. Dear little Miss Greedy, he had written, he always wrote, wrote to his cousin this way. Next Wednesday is my birthday. Please come to tea at four o'clock. Miss Miss Greedy was delighted. She hadn't seen her cousin for quite some time. She's jumping into the air and throwing the paper. That's Miss. That's her cousin there in that picture. Wednesday was a lovely day. After a little light lunch, I'll tell you what later. Miss Miss Greedy set off in her car. To drive to Mr. Greedy's house, but before she set off, she put something on the back seat of her car. Something large. Mr. Greedy's back present. You guys can't really see the presents because I don't know. Maybe the or maybe the illustrator did not draw anything. At four o'clock, seriously, I don't know what that says. Miss Miss Greedy pulled up. In front of Mr. Greedy, roly poly sort of a house. Mr. Greedy was there to meet her. Hello, little Miss Greedy. She smiled. How lovely to see you after all this. Time. Happy birthday! Laughed Miss Little Miss Greedy, and she gave Mr. Greedy a big kiss. Mr. Greedy's house and Mr. Greedy's house. I can't see her giving Mr. Greedy a big kiss. <laughs> Mr. Greedy blushed. Do come in, he said. Tea's all ready. Little Miss Greedy was following Mr. Greedy into his house when she remembered something. You know what it was, don't you? That's right, Mr. Greedy's birthday present. Wait a minute, he said. Can you help? Something out of the back of my car. She smiled. It's rather heavy, she added. Certainly agreed, Mr. Greedy. I only see Mr. Greedy blushing. See? Look at his cheeks. In the other page, we did not see him blushing, did we? See, look. We did not see him blushing in the other page. Yeah. <laughs> There was a knock on the seat. Hey, there was a knock on. There was not on the. There was not a knock. There was there on the back seat of Little Miss Greedy's car was the biggest birthday cake you've ever seen in all your life. A huge, enormous, gigantic, colossal currant cake with thick ice icing on the top. And strawberry jam in the middle. I only put one candle on it. Exclaimed Little Miss Greedy. Exclaimed Little Miss Greedy, as as they carried it to to the house. Because I forgot how old you are. Oh, you shouldn't have. Laughed Mr. Greedy. He licked his lips. But I'm glad you did. He's glad that she forgot how old he is. Oh, oh no. I can't see Mr. Greedy's head. I baked it today, said Little Miss Greedy. And then she chuckled. I have a confession to make, she said. This isn't the only cake I baked today. The first one looked so delicious I ate it for breakfast. She chuckled again. Mm. It's only a white background. I'm on my last page. And the second one looked so delicious, she went on. I ate that one for my lunch. Mr. Greedy grinned from ear to ear. Time for tea, little Miss Greedy, he said. 
That page has no pictures, but I just wanted to show you. And that's the end of the story. Ariel, why are you guys running up and down? Okay, so I'm just going to go through this. Okay, I can still see Little Miss Greedy, but I I went through this whole thing, and Mr. Greedy was not even in here. I'll I'll go through it all the way to third to seven. One, Little Miss Bossy. Little Miss Two, Little Miss Naughty. Two, Three, Little Miss Neat. Four, Little Miss Sunshine. Five, Little Miss Tiny. Six, Little Miss Trouble. Seven, Little Miss Giggles. Eight, Little Miss Helpful. Nine, Little Miss Magic. Ten, Little Miss Shy. Eleven, Little Miss Twelve, Little Miss Twins. Thirteen, Little Miss Chatterbox. Fourteen, Little Miss Dotty. Fifteen, Little Miss Late. Sixteen, Little Miss Lucky. Seventeen, Little Miss Stubborn. Scatterbrain. I mean, it's not stubborn, scatterbrain. Eighteen, Little Miss Star. Nineteen, Little Miss Busy. Twenty, Little Miss Quick. Twenty-one, Little Miss Wise. Twenty-two, Little Miss Tidy. Twenty-three, Little Miss Greedy. <gasps> we just read about Little Miss Greedy, didn't we? Twenty-four, Little Miss Fickle. Twenty-five, Little Miss Brainy. Twenty-six, Little Miss Stubborn. Twenty-seven, Little Miss Curious. Twenty-eight, Little Miss Fun. Twenty-nine, Little Miss Pondery. Thirty, Little Miss Somersault. Thirty-one, Little Miss Scary. Look, guys, this one is Little Miss Scary. That one. When 33, 32, Little Miss Bad. 33, Little Miss Whoops. 24, Little Miss Princess. I like Little Miss Princess. She looks so beautiful. Little Miss Princess. 35, Little Miss Birthday. 36, Little Miss Christmas. 30, and the last one, 37, Little Miss Hug. Dun, 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 dun. Little Miss Hug is right there. Hug Miss Little. Oh, if you read it backwards, it says Hug Miss Little. Hug Miss Little. That's the end of the story. I hope to see you again. The story's finished. Let's just have a chat, guys. Hey! Hey! You're staring at me. Oh, I'm talking to Wes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ariel, you've been ruining the whole video. Okay, the story was, this was Wes's story, but it was Wes's. He got it from the hospital when he, when he had like a bandage all over his hand. Just to say. Hey! Who dropped this toy? Don't you dare throw a toy. Don't you dare. Mm. <laughs> hey. Okay, then I'll try again. And. Bet. <laughs> Doesn't work. Then. Bet. Subscribe to help me. No, it didn't work. Like to help me. No, turn on the notifications to help me. Uh. Watch my videos to help me. Ah. Guys, you don't actually need to do that if you don't want to. I'm just messing with you. Okay, ready? No! Oh my! For heaven's sake! What are you doing? I'm not going to throw 
this one because this is a night light. I'm going like. Oh my gosh, that was a good throw. What you guys doing? Okay. Good. So guys, we're upstairs. Eric's going to be throwing it. Okay. Ready? I'm going to throw it to ya. Hey! I have to go downstairs again. Hey, 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 I'm not, I'm not picking it up. Guys, this video is over. <sighs> okay, I'm going to try and do this. Ready? Okay. Is that how to do it? I didn't know how to do that. Okay, now I took my hand off. Bye!